Good morning, yogis, yoginis, and everyone in between. Welcome to day seven of your morning yoga journey. I'm Kit, and welcome to Yoga with Kit Souther. So today we're going to be starting off with the affirmation, I have strengths, abilities, and gifts. Let's go ahead. We take a deep inhale. I have strength, abilities, and gifts. Like every practice, we start off with our three ohms. We inhale through the nose with our cleansing breath. We exhale. Beginning our ohms, we inhale. Again, we inhale. One more. Beautiful. Good job, you guys. From here, we're going to take it to stay in this position. We're going to do our seated cat cow, right? So we're going to inhale, arching the back, opening up the chest, and exhale, curving the spine, navel to spine. Inhale, and exhale, curving the spine chin to chest, inhale, and we exhale, pushing into those fingertips, holding those knees, inhale, and exhale, one more, we inhale, arching the back, and exhale, curving the spine. Coming back to a neutral. Whew. From here, our feet are going to go out in front. We're going to take it into doing a little ab stuff today, right? Because I have strength, abilities, and gifts, honey. Right? So from here, we're going to keep those arms out in front and we're going to gently lower down to the mat. Right, vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing the body to come up. Our hands come up. And as we inhale, we come up. Slowly, really feeling that. And as we exhale, we drop it back down. Okay, right? So we're not doing anything crazy here, right? We're taking our time, we're pressing into those feet. Feeling that in the abdominals, and we're going to exhale, lowering back down. We're going to do this two more times. We inhale, and we exhale, dropping down. We inhale, lifting up, and exhale, dropping down, really feeling those abs be engaged. Dropping the hands down to the mat, hands, palms to the mat, letting go of this left leg that comes out straight, bringing the right knee to the chest, tops of the hands come to the shin, we gently pull that in and we release just a little and as we exhale we pull the knee back in, right? So gently release. And pull it back in. Release. And back in. Using the breath. And back in. 
holding it here, making sure that that left hip is down on the floor and gently release, allowing the foot to come down to the mat. Right foot drops down to the mat and we bring the left knee to the chest again, doing the same thing, making sure our foot is flexed. We inhale, bringing the knee close to us. Exhale, gently releasing. We inhale, bringing it close to us. Exhale, gently releasing. We inhale, bringing it close. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. We inhale. And we exhale. Good job. One more. Inhale. And exhale, gently releasing, allowing both feet to be straight on the floor. Hands come down, similar to Savasana. From here, we're going to take our left foot over our right, gently crossing the body, doing a nice little supine twist, right? Allowing this left arm to come down to the mat, glancing over our left shoulder, listening to the body, listening to the limits of where we can be. The next inhale, we come to center. Now we take that right leg, right leg over the left, gently twisting the side body, doing our supine twist on the other side, looking over that right shoulder, allowing the body to release, releasing any tension you have in the lower back, this pose is amazing for the morning time and for your digestion. It's really great. We're going to take two more inhales at your own pace. One more. We inhale through the nose. And exhale, release, coming back to center. We are allowing the knees to drop down to one side. They come back up and we drop them down to the other. Right, so come up and dropping them down. One more time, we inhale, dropping them down to one side. Feeling that through the hip flexors, the top of the quads and taking it back, gently allowing the feet to fall down. Using the hands as guides, we're gonna come back up, taking it in to our seated forward fold, adjusting wherever you need to, right? So pushing, pulling out those glutes. Feet are about hip width apart, right? So the feet don't have to be touching if you don't want them to. We're gonna inhale, lifting up those hands. We're gonna exhale, forward fold. Going to wherever is comfortable for you this morning, right? So we're hinging from the hips, keeping the top of the back flat right? If you're having any, any pain, right, you don't want to be hunched over, just hold on to wherever you feel comfortable. If the top of the shins is where that is, then that's where you hold. Relaxing the knees, right? So noticing if you're holding any tension there or in the hip flexors. We take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, walking up, using the hands on the legs, right? So noticing the sensations that we had this morning. Maybe just doing a nice little quad massage. 
right? Giving ourselves some love this morning. <sighs> Massaging the shins. Massaging the knees. Coming back up to the quads. Listening to the breath. Using the breath. From here, we're going to gently roll down to Savasana, taking our time, rolling down, palms of the hands facing the mat or the floor, hands are out wide. Bringing our awareness to our breath. Releasing any tension in the ankles and the knees, allowing the feet to fall and the hips, relaxing the hips. Taking it to the shoulders, our awareness, allowing the shoulders and the chest to relax. Relaxing the face muscles. Taking nice, long inhales through the nose. And now through the nose. Mm. Inhale. Exhale. I have strengths, abilities, and gifts. Whenever you're ready, gently turn on to your right side. Using your hands, coming back up to a seated position. Taking your time, not rushing anything. Thank you so much for spending day seven with me. I hope you have an incredible day. I hope you have an amazing journey. You're doing a great job staying consistent. Don't worry if you miss one or two days. <laughs> It's not the end of the world. I'm just happy that you're here, that you're putting in this time and this effort into your health and making yourself a priority. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. If you want to contact me or if you want to follow me, you can connect with me over on Instagram at yoga with kit. Uh, you can also go to my webpage if you want to take any online classes with me in person. It is www.yogawithkit.com. Super easy. Um, so yeah, so I look forward to hearing from all of you. Have a fantastic morning, day, evening. I love you all so much.